Good morning. Welcome to the New York City Council vote hearing on the Committee on Education. At this time, please silence all electronics. At this time, also do not approach the day as chair. You may begin. Good morning and welcome everyone to today's Committee on Education vote on Resolution 13 sponsored by myself. A resolution designating the second Friday in March annually as Social and Emotional Learning Day in the in City of New York and recognizing the importance of ensuring that pre-kindergarten through 12th grade public school students acquire the social emotional competency needed to succeed, to succeed in life. And Resolution 95, sponsored by Council Member Hanif, a resolution calling upon the New York City Department of Education to consult with faith-based organizations to develop and provide all grades level with a curriculum that focuses on religious diversity to provide professional development focus on religious diversity for teachers, staff, and administrators. To ensure accurate classification of hate crimes and annual school report, an immediate notification and full disclosure to parents of hate crime statistics, and to ensure that schools take action to condemn bullying and harassment based on religious clothing, food requirements, and the need for prayer space and time year round. I'm proud to have sponsored Resolution 13 along with 26 of my colleagues. The committee previously heard testimony on the resolution at a hearing on school-based health centers and school-based mental health clinics on April 17, 2024. New York City State Education Department defines social-emotional learning as the process through which children, youth, and adults acquire and effectively, effectively apply the knowledge, attitude, and skills necessary to understand and manage emotions set and achieve positive goals. Feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain positive relationships and make responsible decisions. Studies show that students receiving SEL instruction have higher academic achievements, better motivation, fewer disruptive behaviors and less emotional stress. And such instruction results in greater equity among students. Designating SEL Day in New York City Public Schools recognizes the importance of ensuring that pre-K through 12th grade public school students acquire the social emotional competency needed to succeed in life. I'm also proud to have signed on as a co-sponsor of Resolution 95, which was heard at a hearing on legislation on June 18, 2023. Bias-based bullying is defined as physical, verbal, social, or cyber-based threats directed towards a minority population based upon race, ethnicity, religious beliefs, gender, or sexual orientation, and include a systematic abuse of power that is characterized intentionally, frequency and imbalance of power. Rate of such bullying has risen since nationwide and 2019's New York State Controller Report found significant underreporting of these incidents in New York City public schools. Additionally, research linked bias-based bullying to poor academic performance and negative mental and social outcomes, including depression, anxiety, advocates, I argue that incorporating lessons on religious bias and inaccuracies in schools can reduce religious-based bullying, but teachers often lack the necessary resources to do so. I encourage all of my colleagues to vote yes on both of these important pieces of legislation which aim to enhance socio-emotional well-being of all New York City public schools. I will now turn to Council Member Hanif to make a statement. Thank you to Speaker Adams for including Resolution 95 on today's agenda. I also want to thank the 35 sponsors of this resolution, including co-prime sponsor Councilmember Shulman and Education Chair Joseph, for their support. This resolution calls on the Department of Education to consult with faith-based organizations to develop and provide all grade levels with a curriculum that focuses on religious diversity. In my new capacity as co-chair of the Council's Task Force to Combat Hate, I've heard from students of different backgrounds about the lack of understanding that many students have about the religious experiences of their peers. This creates an environment where students are more vulnerable to bullying or bias-based incidents, which can range from subtle microaggressions to violent hate crimes. It has been eye-opening to learn about the ways in which students have been made to feel either ostracized or unsafe due to the religion that they practice. Over the last year, there have been 367 incidents of religious-based bullying, harassment, intimidation, and discrimination in our schools. With the troubling rise of anti-Semitic, Islamophobic, and other hate crimes, 
it is more crucial than ever to cultivate inclusivity and prevent hate through education. Our schools must be nurturing places where young New Yorkers are able to express their full selves without fear. In order to meet this imperative, we must bring a universal religious diversity curriculum to our classrooms. By teaching students about the mosaic of religions that makes New York City such a culturally rich and vibrant place, we can foster mutual understanding, respect, and exchange amongst our next generation. I'm grateful for the interfaith coalition of supporters of this, religion, of, of this resolution, including leaders from the Muslim, Jewish, Chris, Christian, and Sikh communities. The diversity of this coalition and the effort they've consistently dedicated to this fight over the last few years underscores how critical this resolution is. I encourage all my colleagues to vote in favor of Reso 95 and for the Department of Education to develop and implement this curriculum immediately. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank my staff and committee staff. I'll now turn to the clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on education, resolutions 13 and 95, items are coupled. Chair Joseph. Aye on all. Sanchez. Aye. Thank you. Lewis. Aye on all, congratulations to the bill sponsor. Gennaro. Dinowitz. Gutierrez. Aye. Thank you, Councilmember Gutierrez. Dinowitz? Aye and all. Thank you, sir. Yes. Hanif? Aye. Hanks? Aye. Krishnan? Aye. Lee? Aye and all. Narcisse? Aye and all. Shulman? Stevens. With the vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee, and the roll will be held open at request of the chair. Whoever voted and is on finance, can you head over to the uh, chambers for the finance vote? Thank you. Continuation roll call, Committee on Education, Council Member Stevens. Aye and all. Thank you. The vote is now 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Close it out. 